morning. We are starting this one off a little bit late. It's actually not morning at all. Anyway, today is SIV part two. The plan for today is something a little bit more extreme than yesterday. I'm gonna be doing full stalls and spins on the freaking Mojo machine. Freaking Mark in the background. Just just doing it. So a stall and a spin is a lot more crazy than anything I've ever done. So I'm a little bit nervous, but the application is, you guys have seen me do like sats before. You just pull a lot and you spin in circles and it's crazy. I kind of self-taught how to do that. And one possible outcome if you mess it up is a spin. And I've never done that before. So this is kind of like a good tool to like know what's gonna happen if I mess something up. So. as Woody would say, I'm here from the future, ready for a post-flight debrief analysis. So first off, I gotta give another huge thank you to the guys at Aviator PPG for sponsoring me to go through this course. I'll link them down below, so definitely check those guys out if you're interested in paramotor stuff. So here's how the situation pans out. I'm on my way to the lake once again, on the Mojo and the Scout, ready for my run. And uh, I pulled out my phone, checked my text and I had a text from Chris, the instructor, saying that Johnson, my buddy, um, was just doing a full stall and it went pretty bad. He ended up throwing his reserve, he ended up in the lake and they got him, but he was completely fine, all was good, it was controlled and uh, we would proceed on in a few minutes. So, I circled over the lake a little bit and um, got on the phone with Chris. He explained the situation in more detail and he said, look, if you're good to go, I'm good to go. Let's freaking send it. And I was down, so we went for it. I'm gonna play the footage first, and then we'll come back and give a little bit more insight and detail into Johnson's incident and see what we can learn there. So let's take a look at mine. I was expecting it to be pretty violent, but really, I personally didn't think it was that bad. So I take a look around, pull, pull, pull. Wing does a horseshoe maneuver. I only hold it for a couple seconds. And here I start letting out. You can see the wing takes shape, jumps forward to almost the horizon, and then flies away. Not too bad. Here it is in slow motion, 50% speed. The wing really falls back behind you, and it does throw your body around quite a bit, but I found it not too hard to keep stable. I locked my hands literally like behind my knees. And then real slow on that release, and as the wing started to take shape, you let go. Now I'm gonna play it with sound just so you can hear the wind because it's kind of cool. All right, so that was my first and only full stall. Um, in my personal opinion, it didn't feel that bad. It felt controlled. I was super aware of what was happening. I was worried it would be more violent, like throwing my body around, but it was actually pretty good. So the next maneuver was the spin. So I set my trims appropriately, which was all the way in, grab my right brake toggle, do a wrap around, give it a looky see, and then just punch straight down on the right side. goes right around. Now on exit, you see the wing jump forward, does a very slight asymmetric on the left side, and my legs actually kicked up like behind the left riser, and I almost had a little bit of line twist, but it was okay. It was kind of a violent exit, and I found the spin to be very disorienting. Like, similar to the line twist situation, I had no idea what was going on around me at all. But again, it was still, relatively controlled like I knew what the wing was doing I didn't know what my outside world was doing but the exit was a little wonky let's play it in slow motion again so you just punch all the way down so much so that it deforms the wing it spins around and on exit it jumped forward all the way to the horizon slight asymmetric on the left side but it was all good I flew away now here's the angle from Jacqueline, who was filming on the ground. Zoomed in, looks super awesome. 
The freaking mojo spins around like a top. So here's number two. I did two spins, again, a wrap on the right side. Now this one you'll notice the exit was a whole lot better. Punch it down, around, let up. And I kind of jabbed with the left break, which I think helped the exit, um, but it was way more smooth on that one. In slow-mo, you'll notice it's nearly exactly 540 degrees of rotation. And the camera angle from the ground, swing around town, pops out, and we fly away. Here's the big takeaway. So in my experience in paramotor flying, luckily, knock on wood, in like over four years, I've never had anything catastrophic, crazy, or insane happen to me. I've had little mishaps, but never anything crazy. And going through this course through SIV, it was much the same. It felt like everything was under control. I didn't get freaked out by anything, but Johnson, his experience was very different. So the takeaway for me is to never just assume that everything has gone well for me so far. Don't assume it's gonna keep going well. These particular maneuvers, although they look pretty benign, and I would think they were benign from my experience, there's so much random factor into this stuff that it's like that 1% of the time that something goes slightly different, the results and implications are huge. It's a good example, I guess, of why you should never try these maneuvers at home just on your own, willy-nilly. Um, but it's also a great demonstration of why going through these courses are really beneficial. I came away with a bunch of good lessons. We all sat down and talked afterward in the debrief, talked about our experiences, what we learned um, individually, and what we could learn as a whole. And that was the big thing for me. I took more, I think, from other people's experiences within the course than my own individual experience. So anyway, we will get back to the flight and the landing back at the airport and uh, conclude this video with a flight with Mr. Mark Honeycutt. I come back down. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, she's sexy. She's light though. She's Dude. light. We'll go for it. Oh yeah. Been waiting for this. Oh yeah, I gotta top that one. <laughs> Hi Eric, how are you? See you back there. I just uh, foot drugged through your prop wash. How was that? <laughs> Pretty gnarly. <laughs> Hi, mom. Oh, your mom is here? Eric's my mom. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is mother-like. Oh, how about this little creek here? Yeah, dude. Get it. Do you know where the power lines are at? Uh, power lines. Oh, All right. There's no power lines. I took my flotation off. I'm a little sketched. Oh, you got this. Whoa, that looks awesome. Oh, that was beautiful. I think you're a tad faster than me. Freaking downwind, like two feet off the ground. Yeah, I just realized that. It's pretty <laughs> awesome, though. <laughs> I feel like a freaking tomahawk. I wonder if there's rotor on the backside of these trees. Might as well test it. Don't learn today. YOLO. That uh, feels mild. Oh, yeah, a little job. bit. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's crusty. It's crusty. Oh, dude, that it's... looks gnarly. Look at a little low right there. Is this trike guy about to do a foot drag? Oh, that's Charlie Soap. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's uh, James. What up, James Sutherland? Oh, I see it. Raining from the wherever you're from. Woo! I'm out, Ed. 
Is that another ambulance? Ah, shit. Where is there an ambulance? Uh, well, I just saw flashing lights. They're gone now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there is an ambulance coming in hot. That is not cool. All right, I think, well, we're kind of clear over here. It's, I'm going to hook her in for a landing, but there's, okay. like, well, a touch and go, but got to navigate around these folks. These guys, I might have to come in right behind you. I don't know. Yo, my tail Woo. end. I'm on your tail end. All right, I'm going to wait for this instinct to jet out. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Full frontal. I'm going to try to keep this one. Oh, no. We're done. We suck. Oh, no. <laughs> I see we light. <laughs> Doran just waved off someone to launch. I think uh, they might be doing an ambulance thing. Oh, well, snap. I think we're good. Oh, wait. No, they're coming across. Oh, shit, ball. Shit, mate. Dude, that's not good. No bueno. Uh, I hate that. Yeah, I really hope it's not bad. You oh, shit, is that Johnson? No, the John one that, that Johnson's went in. back. Remember, he went oh, in the... Right here. I think he's... Yeah, that's Johnson. Yeah. I gotta give him a hug or something. Oh, no, they're going into the field. Jesus. Uh, dude, bring it in. Hey. Did you do a full stop? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was yours. I did one. Okay. Don't do more than one. Dude, are you good? Yeah. Like, all around? Yeah. Shit. Let's try to say hi there. What's up, man? Hey, you too. I talked to Andrew. Somebody broke their ankle. Oh. No big deal. Relative. Oh, God. Wait, what? His uh, bone was sticking out of his sock. Oh, <laughs> Bro. I'll let you uh, go first on this one. All right. Yeah. Nailed it. You're screwing up my launch. <laughs> oh, did I blow your wing? No, we're good, man. I'm right behind you. Oh, man. There's like eight dudes that landed out in the field with this guy. Really? Freaking A. I'm gonna uh, respectfully circle this area, just like give them space, but to the I want to see what's up. Yeah. Man, everyone freaking landed. Yeah, this is the unfortunate part of the sport you like rarely see. Yeah. But I mean, hey, he's all right, right? Broken ankle, he'll be back in it. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever happens, I mean, maybe had an engine out. Broken yeah. ankle is not the worst thing that could happen. No, absolutely not. Dang. I hate that. Look at those little baby cows to the left of us. Just chasing each other. That's adorable. Love and life. Ah, what should we do? We got like 10 minutes. Let's touch wings. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's always a good plan. All right, little rig coming in. How are you possibly, how are we possibly the same speed now? Phew. Let's hold it. Oh, Get her in there. Oh, oh. Get in there, baby. I'm coming down. <laughs> right. Ah, right. Right. Should we fly at each other like freaking jousting? Yeah, I'm down with that. I feel like that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do we coordinate this? I don't know, but there should definitely be some type of coordination, I guess. All right, I'll fly left, you fly right. What well, left and what right? I'll fly to the airport. We'll get some separation, and then just hook it at each other. All right, never mind. I'm good to go. All right, ready? The old Cetus can't take it. All right, I'm staying on this side. <laughs> All right, I got left. You got left. Oh, uh, sh uh, shoot. Wingtip bump? I don't know. That's sketchy. I think we should bump tips. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that would be awesome. really hard to coordinate an actual touch. Have you? I heard of someone doing that. Woody was telling me that. Have you heard about that? No. Woody said some dudes tried that, and then one of them looked back, and the other had just crashed because they. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, they hit. I kind of want to do that again. Opposite sides or same? Uh, try the same. All right, you ready? Ready. And what they? Yo. <laughs> this guy's coming in too. It's a three-way. Oh shit! I'm gonna split the middle. Yeah, dude. 
Thread the needle. No, shit. These are unpredictable. Oh, Go God. down. All right. Yeah, focus. 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 Oh, that looks so scary. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Smoke. <laughs> Let's see what it smells like. See, see what he's burning in there. That smells familiar. It smells kind of like a, it's got a little deep in it, like mosquito deep. Oh, yeah. It kind of burns your eyes. I love burning my eyes. Going to foot drag that swamp water? Yeah, let's hit it. Not that one. So I'm going to come through the trees, kind of. Yeah. The trees on the left and then go over it. I got the angle. Sweet. Legendary. Halo legendary. Yeah, get it. Pew. Dude, that's ballsy on a black hawk, I'll tell you what. Dang. Who are you telling? <laughs> yeah, it's running pretty good, so I've got faith in it, I suppose. Dude, that's a lot of lights for a broken ankle. I'm starting to get worried. Oh man, it is cold right on the ground. Yeah, I mean we're over a swamp of death right now. Hey, I was about to say like a black hawk made it this whole flight. I'm impressed. Don't say that right now. <laughs> of all places, you're about to kick the barbed wire. Oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, thank you so much. Plot twist, the Black Hawk never dies. Oh, f is that a meta back? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Dude. All right. New mission, don't go in the Sky Blender. New mission, don't get near Downwash either. Yeah. God bless America. Dang. He's going to get a cool ride, though. Should we come back in? Yeah, I'm just going to set up and hook a right turn and land. Okie dokie. I'll probably just follow you. I think we're being told not to land. Oh, yeah. There's one guy flapping his hands. I think that's the international sign of don't land. Yeah, either either land or immediately or don't land. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to call my phone and see if Kyle sent a message or something. Freaking A. You getting anything? I got a missed call from Kyle, but no message or voicemail. I kind of feel like we should just land and, like, do it safely so that the helicopter doesn't have to worry. Quite honestly, I mean, being that helicopter, he's got plenty of options. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy, though, to land when we're not supposed to. Yeah, but how are we supposed to know? Yeah, I don't know. Kyle was just, like, waving his arm. That, to me, would mean don't land. Or, hey, come here. Who could I send a text to real quick? Who would know? Um, is Woody down there? Oh, someone's flopping their arms. Oh, yeah, he's saying land, for sure. He's pointing at the ground. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. That's a better sign. Yeah. I'll come in first. All right. Everyone is waving. But some people are giving X's, and some people are pointing at the ground. But you're still going to land? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got to... Looks pretty good from him. Alrighty mates, we're just wrapping up the day in the super van mobile. Got the heater blazing down here, keeping it warm. Um, but anyway, wrap up for the day. Did uh, SIV, full stalls and spin. Freaking Johnson ate it in the water, but he did a superb job on recovery. The guy that went down in the field, the end result of that was, apparently he was flying downwind, um, and I guess went down for whatever reason. And downwind you're going really fast and he caught his ankle out in the bushes and broke his ankle. So that was the medevac situation. Um, I'm sure he's going to be okay. But unfortunate all in the end that that stuff does happen. Yeah, fun flight with Mark. Check out his channel. I'll link it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Peace.